Richard, as one of the many experienced application engineers here at Mastercam, in your opinion, what is the product uh, useful for? Who is it, who is it aimed at? Well, Mastercam's been in the, the CAD CAM market for 40 years now, a little bit over 40 years, as a matter of fact. Oh, for over yes. 40 years. Yes. So uh, we have a number of products from uh, two-axis turning, lathe, two-axis mill, three-axis mill, uh, 3D um, surface machining, solid machining, all the way up to five-axis milling, including robot programming as well. Some people are putting milling heads on the under six-axis robots. So we, we cover many different industries. Absolutely, and it sounds like if, if, if you're a subcontractor, you have lots of different kinds of components coming in. You might have a 3D finishing component scanning one day, and then just a standard 2.5D component the next. Absolutely. Our Master customers Camp that fits. we've been seeing this week, and it has been a busy week, they've been coming up with all sorts of projects, all sorts of jobs, anything from a simple DXF file, 2D DXF, a little bit helpful programming there, uh, up to complex uh, step models, SolidWorks files, feature detection, uh, we, we can do all of that in Mastercam. I bet you're surprised by the diversity of components that come through the door. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the number of different industries that, that we see, anything from artists coming up with, with weird and wonderful ideas for, for uh, programming robots, to uh, yeah, job shops, um, Formula One, military, yeah, many different industries. Brilliant. We're going to look at a feature right now that's going to help every single person who does roughing, which is probably every one of your customers, right? Yeah, absolutely. Roughing, obviously, clearly a, a very uh, common uh, topic. Now, a lot of people are still uh, machining in a kind of a traditional way, using not very much of the of the end mill. So dynamic roughing is, is what we call it, is, is our method of using as much of the flute as you can, two times D, three times D, four times D, to get effective roughing and high material removal rates. Okay, show me how it works. Okay, so we have a little example here, a, a mill turn example. So uh, this little toolpath, I've just sectioned off the model so you can see a little bit of machining. So we're demonstrating the uh, dynamic opti rough machining. It's so actually this one's based on a, a prior stop model. So we've done some machining already. So this one's just speeding, uh, spiraling down into material. Now, like I said, we're just trying to demonstrate opti rest machining or opti rough machining. Maybe I would have U-drilled this first. But yeah, to make a pre-drill hole, but exactly. just for the sake of the demo. Yeah, so in this case, the strategy will automatically spiral down. And you'll see eventually we're engaging on the uh, flute of the tool. And this is a full depth cut. This is maybe exactly three, that. two times D, two and a half times yeah, D. Yeah, so we're engaging on the, the full length for the tool here or near the full length of the tool. So we can set a, uh, a step down, uh, a step over, a small step over typically, maybe 10%, 15% of the tool diameter. Uh, and when it starts to get to the edges, we got uh, an option to uh, step up the sides. If I can fast forward to that point. And once you start stepping up the sides, that means you're going to get some Z-level uh, scallops that you'll then come out and I guess ball nose, Absolutely. ball nose machine. Absolutely, yeah. So this one will go kind of in uh, Z-steps going up the side of the part. So yeah, we have the big step down and we can set a separate step up value as well. And I guess that's one of the more productive ways of, of, of machining out this whole pocket. Yeah, as a, absolutely. And another thing that's quite useful is that we're a climb milling only. You can climb all conventional mill, all zigzag between the two. Climb mill's quite a popular method of doing it. So um, yeah, we have the options in our strategies to, to go any way you like. Absolutely, and with the result of this, is, as well as being more productive, there's, there's the, you're using a lot of the carbide. Yeah, uh, because uh, in the traditional way, you're only using the tip of the tool, it's that bit that's getting worn out first, and then it goes for a re-grind, it's never the same again. So uh, yeah, we absolutely using a better utilization of the tool, it lasts longer, higher material removal rates, it's generally a win-win. Okay, and you, you mentioned just in passing, this is a mill turn component, but that's also of interest as well, because mill turn is normally quite a hard thing to program on a cam system, especially when yeah. you have uh, two turrets to, to machine things simultaneously in OP10 and OP20. Yes. Um, Mastercam is, is quite good at mill turn, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We have um, a number of uh, turning and milling strategies available in Mastercam. If you bought Mastercam lathe, you bought Mastercam mill, and if you've got some uh, familiarity with Mastercam, you just use those existing toolpaths that you know well. Um, from there, we launch a, uh, a simulation section. So we'll give you a machine tool simulation as part of the Milton package. This is a Nakamura tool machine. Uh, this model's being kindly provided uh, with the help of ETG, who's a Mastercam reseller in Ireland. So uh, this one, I've just uh, come down and oh, just sketched or sketch sectioned off the model again. 
You can see we're getting in there, we're removing the material. It may go a bit quickly. Oh, yeah, is, and yeah. you can do some big cuts on a Nakamura Tomy machine, can't yeah, you? That's a lathe. You can take some big milling cuts as well. You can, absolutely can. Yeah, it's an absolutely solid, strong machine. So in this case, this strategy, I think we were spinning C-axis, but machine can do Y. So if you need Y-axis programming, keep the chuck still, move the tool instead, move the turret, we, we can do that as well. And we're now going to have a look at that machine, the Nakamura Tomy, actually running here on the Mastercam stand. We're going to talk to Stephen Noakes, who's going to help show us that mill turn on Mastercam is just as easy as just doing milling, just doing turning. Let's go check it out. Stephen, you've got a Mastercam lanyard on, but your, your logo says something different. Have you snuck on the stand? We have, we have. Um, as, as ETG Ireland, the marketplace in Ireland for us is slightly different. So in Ireland, we support the business by selling Mastercam. So we're the Mastercam reseller for the island of Ireland. And we've been invited here to support our colleagues from Mastercam UK. And I've managed to sneak on a Nakamura Nakamura Tommy WT150. Yeah, and you've actually got a, you've brought a demo as well. You've not come empty handed without the machine. You've no, come with a no, demonstration. No, no, no. We've, been in, we've been asked to come up with a, a demonstration for Mastercam that demonstrates all of the new technologies in Mastercam. So we're doing some dynamic milling. We're doing prime turn and tool pass. We're using dynamic motion to rough out grooves all on the twin spindle, twin turret machine you see behind us. And the machine behind us, it's quite a high spec mill turn machining center yeah yeah with the with the wt we have twin spindle twin turret technology we have upper y-axis on this machine so we have the ability to go above and below the center line we can produce complex forms we can do milling drilling tapping profile milling um, and and complex turning tool paths and when it comes to a high spec mill turn machine a bit like this how can customers make sure they get the best out of that machine well, it starts with your CAM package. You really, really need a competent CAM package. And that's what we use Mastercam for. It gives us very complex tool pass, very quick. There's no programming bottlenecks. The posts work, the machine tool environments work. The guys in the programming office can post and go and know the machine is going to run straight away. When you invest in a mill turn like this, you can't afford the machine to be stopped. It's all about programming, post, produce. Absolutely, and when you've got a machine like this, you want to be making it, it needs to be running as much as possible. If you're a yeah. subcontractor with lots of different kinds of components, programming time takes a big portion out of your day trying to run a machine like this. Absolutely. Um, I have a customer in Ireland who has taken on a lot of new work, so they have lots of programming to do. Their current programming software wasn't working for them. He said, Steve, can you help me? Can you give me a solution? We put Mastercam into them. Their programming office, their programming hours disappeared. They're able to program, produce, and deliver customer parts within the timeline they needed. Brilliant. So for general subcontract precision machining, we heard from Rich Mastercam is great for all of that. If you've got a mill turn machine, you need to get the best out of Mastercam is also a specializer in mill turn machining. So check them yeah. out in Ireland from ETG. In the UK, they sell direct.